Well, fire crews right now working around the clock on those fire lines and joining me here at the desk to explain what it takes in the field is Brent Ruby, a professor from the University of Montana who also specializes in the health, performance and safety of wildland uh, firefighters. And welcome to the studio, Brent. First, describe what it's like out there on the lines for these firefighters. Thanks. Well, we've chased these crews for a number of decades and the job, as you can imagine, is quite physical. The physical demands are extreme. The energy demands each day are between four to 6,000 calories of energy expenditure. And it takes a great physical toll, but there's a psychological toll as well. All right, so with triple digit weather in the forecast for several days in a, in a row, how do they meet those energy needs? What do they mm. need to do and how do they stay hydrated out there? Yeah, the, the energy demands are extreme, but they do seem to eat enough. For the, with the studies that we've done, we've monitored that in detail and they do get enough. They might not always get enough of the right things, but they also do a really good job of maintaining their normal water budgets. And those can be extreme. They'll be anywhere from seven to about 10 10 liters per day, which is like two to two and a half gallons every 24 hours, which is extreme. But they, we've found that they do a pretty darn good job. Okay, so not only does it take a toll on them physically, what about their families? Mm. That's, that's one of the hardest things to measure. We've been really good at measuring the physiology, but the psychology of the job and the mental toll that it takes on themselves when they leave their families, or when they deal with all these other collateral stresses, like the stress of the job, the stress of being away, lack of sleep, uh, smoke issues, smoke inhalation, all those collateral stresses add up and it can, it can decay their health over the course of the season. Okay, so as we wrap up here, your big message uh, out there for firefighters and their families. I think for firefighters, the one thing is you're never gonna be able to drink enough water to stay out of the risk of heat illness. You have to take a pacing strategy very seriously and not overwork the muscle so that you overheat the body. That's one very important message. But these guys, there's a race going on right now in France. Only one person gets to wear yellow. These firefighters, all of them wear yellow. And we need to be really, we really need to pay particular attention to how special this workforce is. Okay, some good information there. Thank you so you much, bet. Brent. Absolutely. All right, NBC Montana, always working for you to cover wildfires in your area. For complete coverage all summer, just stay with NBC Montana on air and visit NBCMontana.com for warnings, maps, evacuation details, and all the other information you need to stay safe. And make sure to follow us on social media for the very latest updates.